The message from the New Hampshire House is clear. Most lawmakers in that chamber want to repeal the state's death penalty. That does nothing to bring back our loved ones. All it does is it widens the circle of violence. New Hampshire is better than this. The fact no one has been executed in 80 years says that New Hampshire can live without the death penalty. Because it passed with more than a two-thirds majority, the bill is veto-proof, and it appears that the Senate might also have enough votes to override an expected governor veto. I just don't think it's a, a good policy for our government to execute people. Supporters of repeal argue a law change would only apply to future cases and not Michael Addison, who murdered Manchester police officer Michael Briggs in 2006 and is the state's only death row inmate. But Kelly Ayotte, who prosecuted Addison, doesn't agree. Essentially, the House today uh, voted to overturn Michael Addison's sentence for murdering uh, Michael Briggs. She and others feel capital punishment is limited in scope and deters criminals. Repealing it is the wrong message to send, especially for our law enforcement officers. The current law, which covers limited situations of murder, is working. So why change it? The state has not executed anyone since 1939. This measure now moves to the state Senate, where again, it is expected to pass with a veto-proof majority. Reporting live in Concord, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.